me. Oh, close, close. Ah, there we go. Run them high up so I can shoot at those guys even when they're behind cover. Both of them are dead. Okay, for I should say both of them are down. It's no good. They will recover if I can only survive long enough to kill the last hostile. Look out. There we go. Now you shot the hell out of my squad, guys. Please at least be considerate enough to have dropped lots of thermal clips around. Now, if memory serves, uh, there's... we meet somebody behind this door. Shepard, don't shoot. You know me. As a matter of fact, we do. That is, well, I'll let her tell us. I shut down the security cams as soon as I saw it was you. Never thought I'd say it, but I'm glad it's you shooting up the place. Sorry, ran a Phenoptis. You let me go when you destroyed Saren's lab on Vermeer. Had to outrun a nuke in a utility pod, but it's still a second chance. I assume you have a good reason for being at this lab. Don't worry, I'm not wasting the chance you gave me. My work here... Strictly beneficial. Not for the mercs. Jador's on a standard power trip. But Okir is trying to do something good, even if his methods are a little extreme. Everyone deserves a second chance, right? And sometimes giving one pays off. I take care of my debts. So what is Okir doing? What's Okir trying to do here? It's complicated. Jador wants a private army, but Okir mostly ignores her. He's running the project for his own reasons. I created a mental imprint routine to educate his tank bread. Most don't get through it. He dumps them for some reason. He wants to help his people, but he's not looking for a genophage cure, and he's not going for numbers. That's all I know. Finding you in a place like this makes me think letting you go was a mistake. You don't want that. We agree on that. Don't worry. 
I plan on staying as far away from anything to do with you as possible. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna run like hell before you blow the place or something. I know how you work. She seemed nice, in that mad scientist ethics for sale kind of way. <laughs> that sort of reminds me what, of something uh, Jahira said in, uh, in the first Baldur's Gate. Similar vine. Um, so we want that. And we also want a one of those. And finally that. And here we go. 4,000 credits. Ah. That one wasn't perfect either, I guess. Quick save. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Here you are. I watched your progress. Hmm. All right. I guess we didn't need to do that. I mean, unless he's uh, going to start attacking us or something, but I doubt that. All right. And let me see. Um, a Y and a Y. The other one's up there. Ah. Uh. I'll take it. Hmm. All right. It's about time. Batteries on these tanks will not wait while you play with these idiotic mercs. I take it you're oak here? You don't seem particularly caged, or grateful that I'm here. You may claim to be here to help, but the formerly deceased shepherd is not a sign of gentle change. Surprised? Old Krogan should know you. I'm sure Rana has already revisited your actions on Vermeer. I'm sure you're eager to retell the story. Such a tale. Saren, the Spectre Trader, threatens the return of the Krogan Horde by curing the Genophage, undoing the gentle genocide of the Turians and Salarians. But before Saren can deliver his endless troops, in rides Shepard, securing victory through nuclear fire. I like that part. It has weight. I didn't have a lot of room for finesse. If there'd been any other solution, I'd have considered it. But I approve. Saren's pale horde were not true Krogan. Numbers alone are nothing. The mistake of an outsider, one that these mercenaries have also made. I gave their leader my rejects for her army, but she grows impatient. It's time for you to take me out of here. We're here about collectors. Nothing more. I see. Yes. Collector attacks have increased. A human concern. My requests were focused elsewhere. I acquired the knowledge to create one pure soldier. With that, I will inflict upon the Genophage the greatest insult an enemy can suffer. To be ignored. Your search for the perfect soldier created a lot of failures. You don't care about them? I failed no one. My rejects are exactly what Jador asked for. She simply lacks the ability to command. They are strong, healthy, and useless to me. I need perfection. If a few thousand are rejected, so be it. My work will purify the Krogan. We will not be restored. We will be renewed. I thought the Krogan ideal was a return to the numbers that threatened the galaxy. We will not need numbers. My soldier is a template. It is a greater threat than all the phantom siblings that would have been at its flank. The galaxy still bears the scars of the Horde, but it will learn to fear the lands. One perfect soldier is, uh... 
is great, but I mean, if the Krogan end up dying out, I mean, unless you can make more like that guy, I don't see how that's a solution. Unless he's immune to the genophage and he can breed. And you can make other people for him to breed, other Krogan for him to breed with. Um, anyway. Uh, if your pet soldier is as strong as you think, maybe I can use him. Perhaps I can strike a deal to secure passage. But my prototype is not negotiable. It is the key to my legacy. Legacy with a damn valve. Shepard, you want information on the collectors? Stop her. She'll try to access contaminants in the storage bay. You can just start over like she plans to. What's the big deal? This tank is pure. It involved as much trial as data. Starting over will not duplicate it. It must survive. Jador will be with the rejected tanks. Kill her. I will stay and do what must be done. Now, this is the part of the, um, this part I don't get, because Jador said to gas the commandos, that's us. But, as you can see, we can go right through that door and get away from the gas in this room. If she just wanted to, um to kill that Krogan in the tank there, that would be one thing, but as far as getting us, all we have to do is walk out. I don't know, maybe Jador is just stupid. But this is a great place to quick save, because we are coming up on a boss fight, and I really wish I had, like, over 10 sniper rifle shots for this. <laughs> yeah, Jacob, she does not know. Jador does not know when to shut up. Some of these guys are armored, which means that warp ammo will be useful. She's got a mech too. Wonderful. Alright. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, and it won't even let me switch to warp ammo. Now it has no shields left, so. I mean. Hell, I'm just going to concentrate on fighting. Oh, damn it. Ooh, this is bad. This makes me rethink my decision to not get those upgrades. Oh, my cloak's gonna run out before I can get behind cover, I know it. Shit, shit, shit. Now I want to, I don't want to be tired to run real fast. Now I can, but I can't get behind cover, oh shit, this is bad. Oh, okay. Let's give that another try. Hmm. 
what I really ought to do, well, is I want to alternate between submachine gun, which has a nice rate of fire, to whittle away shields. It's even better if I use disruptor ammo with it, and my sniper rifle. No, I said my sniper rifle, not my pistol, Shepard. All right. Save again. Assume he did a fuck ton of damage there. Uh, is there a? Oh yeah, Krogan's up there. That's not good. Um, the sooner I can cloak again myself, the better. Warp would really be better for me. Hear that? Oh sh! Friggin' uh, get away from me! God. Damn it. 